We will always be connected. Even when I was hating you, I love you. It's great memories. Something to me, you losing your house, all this stuff, and I hate to hear. Bing. 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 Hello. Kenya. Drew. Drew. Kenya. Kenya. Uh, really? That really? bitch is still alive. Ooh. And I ooh. He is messing with the wrong one. Okay? She not know that I am the shade assassin. I will light her ass up. And I don't even need a fire to do it. You have a goal for today? No. 50. 50. I mean. 12 seconds late. 50,000 today. We're going to raise 100,000. Because it's 50,000 at this table alone. What the hell are we going to do now? I'm bringing in your bag right now. She'll have to get some more rentals at La eBay <laughs> to pay for this. But I'm sure she'll come up with the money somehow. <laughs> and it took a second before Sheree actually agreed. Like, she was just like, well, I'm a new glam mom. I'm a this, I'm a that. Like, they took all that out. <laughs> well, she wasn't, like, quick to throw that card up. Like, we could have said, like, come on, Najere. We know you got that money. What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Last week, we had a break from Atlanta, maybe because they were giving us the mid-season trailer, which looked okay. But, um... Yeah, um, this was a good episode. Shout out to Mommy Nation and Sonya. This was heavily driven with her story plot point. So, I mean, they raised money, so it is what it was. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, let's get into the video. Yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out, I'm a flaming lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, want it, securing the bag. All right, so like I said before, um, this episode was heavy, heavy, heavy about Sonya and Mommy Nation, right? But I know y'all caught all of the shady stuff that was going on in this episode, right? Down from the OGs, then from Cynthia Bailey getting cut out. I don't know why. We all know that Cynthia Bailey will make an appearance on Beverly Hills. So maybe they cut her out to save her for Beverly Hills. I don't know. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, what was the reason to do that? Whatever. But like I said, you know, Sonya, she's coming up with um, the fundraiser. The fundraiser is basically to help women or displaced women that are homeless and help them with um, shelter and basic necessities. She's partnering with a, um, I forgot the name of the school, but there's a school that um, gives, um, offers private education to um, homeless kids um, and basically gives them a free education. So I think like what she's doing and, um, the mission behind what she's trying to do. I feel like that is great. So shout out to Sonya. I'm gonna be jumping around just because um, I just wanna get touch on everyone's plot points. <laughs> yeah, so Sonya, she having family drama. So her um, brother-in-law, he's not her sister anymore. And her sister is basically stepping up to be the assistant and the hairstylist and the wardrobe person and the shoe person and the errand boy and this and the third. And it's one of those things where with Sonya, like when they were at the um, auction. <laughs> I thought this was like B-roll style. Like, this is like, um, so Shazzy might have came in a bad mood today. <laughs> it's probably my fault. And or fundraiser when Sonya was over here just like okay yeah you know I got my hair done da, 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 da. but her sister doing her hair she was like you do not take my feelings into account you call me last minute I don't even know what what time I'm supposed to be here when everything starts so yeah I'm gonna do your hair and I'm gonna leave like she was like it's irritating me I'm frustrated because we already know that you know Ross basically talked about he wanted them out <laughs> on the curb and she basically like okay what are you gonna do when I leave no idea what the plan is for today I am unhappy no I understand and I'm really sorry. But you, know, I feel like I saw an announcement that Sonya said that she's pregnant. I think it was on missing trailers, so maybe she's pregnant. So shout out to her. Um, but um, you know, Sonya starts crying at the auction, and she basically is just like, you know, I apologize. I understand that a lot of stuff could be a lot, um really heavy, so I apologize for that. It's not my intention. And her sister, she understands. She didn't want her to cry, but she, I feel like her sister has the right to express herself, especially when someone, when you feel like you're not being considered or somebody is being inconsiderate with with your own time she's like you know i have kids i'm watching your son as well you need to make sure you carve out time to even just give me better communication right um so marlo marlo the next morning she's talking about going on a date with a guy she's like oh my god he is so great he is this he is that last night perfect perfect right right so then he comes back and he says don't be a stranger like right. i want to see you again right. and i just hearted it 
I still can't believe I I mean, I'm happy for Marlo. It's good to see a little softer side of her dating, this, that, and the third. Um, I feel like that's very strategic, but whatever. Um, and yeah, she's talking with her friend Ty, and I feel like, you know, hopefully everything goes well with the guys. So, whoop, 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 whoop to that. So, Drew and her sister. So, we get the backstory about her sister. Her, first of all, Drew's sister has worked with so many different production com companies. Um, she has she held so many different titles within the industry. She is seasoned within the industry. Writer on A Man, Martin, Rock, and worked at William Morris Agency in the literary department. Ran Wesley Snipes' company. She worked for Johnny Carson Productions. So she. But she did have a mental break, um, two times. She got admitted to a psychiatric ward, and, you know. There was something that Drew said that I didn't think was really funny. Um, her sister's crying, showing all this emotion. And she was like, yeah, you know, I've been working and working for you, like, m majority of your life. And she was like, you know, I have never taken a vacation. And Drew's like, well, you know, being here is a vacation. I don't know if I ever had a vacation. This is your vacation Have you ever now. seen me? <laughs> like, seriously, this, this is, is your vacation. vacation. Have you, like, Roba. Ba, get out, get out, get out. Girl, now. Now, I got what her sister's saying. Like, I never took time for myself to go somewhere and go on an actual vacation. Coming to see you is hanging out with family. That's necessarily not a vacation. So I think I get what she was saying. But, um, you know, they both come to even grounds and they console each other. And, you know, they want to, you know, like, they're like, you know what? Let's work on our sister bond instead of the manager and momager. Let's work on our sister bond. So shout out to Drew and her sister. So this OG dinner sparked a lot of controversy. And this is the reason why I do not record these videos the night that it comes out. I wait till the next day because the after show came out. The tweets came out today. I had to wait because Kenya over here read Miss um, Kim. <laughs> she went in on her because first of all, we at the OG dinner. Um, it's Lisa, um, Sheree obviously, Deshaun, and Kim. So Lisa comes in. Sheree was already there, so Lisa comes in already tipsy. <laughs> uh, she's like, "Hey girl, what's going on, girl?" It's like, "What girl? <laughs> Slow down, right?" Deshaun comes in very much giving. Eh? Um, Kim comes in. She's very hype. Kim looks good. Um, first of all, all the women look drop dead gorgeous. Look really good. But my thing with Kim, I wouldn't have a problem with Kim coming back if at that freaking reunion she didn't say what what she said. She's talking about oh, um, what other white woman was sitting on stage with all these other women? What do you mean by that? And then you allowed your husband to come into the reunion space with a gun. What were they gonna do? Beat your ass? Oh, I wanna, I wanna know that. Okay. I really want to know. That. Like, I'm, try I'm I'm still confused on that, right? So, Kim's over here talking about, yeah, girl, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. What's going on with you, Sheree? You know, she's giving a lot of energy, like, really what we need on the show. But, you know, Sheree's like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm doing this spiritual retreat. I just went to go get needling because, you know, I have fibroids, this, that, and the third. She's like, so we're going to go to Portugal. And they're like, okay, well, who's all going? Me and the girls are going to Portugal. Get fibroids. Part of my trip to Portugal is, you know, oh, natural healing. And She's like, well, you know, Marlo's going, Drew's going, Kenya's growing. So Kim is like, she's like, oh, so she's still alive? Okay. Hello, I love Marlo. Kenya. Drew. Drew. Kenya. Kenya. Uh, Really? That yeah. bitch is still alive. That bitch is, oh my God. My whole thing is, I don't mind people having disdain for another person because that's just a human reaction. Not everybody's going to click. Not everybody's going to like each other. And that's fine. But to bring up death, I think that was pushing it <laughs> way past. Like, girl, it's going to be me forever. Right. And even Kenya, what Kenya said was like her tweet. She was just like, at the end of the day, you could say what you want to say. We could be cool. We could not be cool. But to push it that far, like I don't speak on your foreclosure foreclosures. I don't speak on you not being a great mom. I don't speak on your gambling addiction. I don't speak on you, your marriage divorce. I mean, now they're not divorced. They're, you know, just trying to save their marriage, you know, <laughs> trying to get back on the show. My true feeling is that they're not getting divorced. I think that it's just a way to get out of owing their debtors. But I'm like, just like, it would just push it to a step too far. I don't know why. And then we got that fifth chair. I knew it was supposed to be for Nene. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like things were very much intentional because you know, Real Housewives started with the five women. Uh, minus Nene, you know Nene's not there. But you know, it is what it was. Uh, Key more hair care commercial. Um, minus Cynthia Bailey. I don't know why they didn't have Cynthia there. I mean, I don't know why they cut Cynthia out. 
but whatever. Um, so um, Cynthia is basically doing her choreo. Kenya, more hair care. Oh, just bopping it. I'm just like, okay, Kenya, do what you gotta do. You know, Mayanda's there giving the girls the choreo lesson. She's like, do this. Boom. Cat, cat, cat. Boom, cat. Boom, cat. Not too much neck. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, yes, come on, Mayanda. Do what you gotta do. Do what you're good at. <laughs> Catch that. You know, my yellow, she's basically texting Roy like, hey, this would be a great surprise. You can come in now. He's like, I'm on my way. Boop, boop, boop. And we see Brooklyn. She's over here dancing. It was so cute. A really cute moment. Um, Roy comes in with food. And first of all, they gave this man a whole montage. <laughs> a walk-in montage. Like a love hip-hop moment, right? So he walks in. Real suave. A debonair. Got the bath. The shades. He walk in like money. <laughs> And Keith's like, oh my god, oh, oh my god, this is so crazy. I'm like, girl, you know she is digmatized, girl. Right. And she was like, yeah, you know, I'm so happy that he came because he is really, I don't know if that was Shade to Candy, because she was like, well, you know, Roy is really worldwide, so it's hard to track him down. Um, I don't think it was Shade to Candy because we already know Candy is busy. <laughs> But yeah, it was just like a really cute moment to see um, that breakthrough uh, with Kenya and Roy, you know. So for him to take time out of his really super busy schedule and to come to see me and bring food, yes, he is a keeper. So is the day of the auction, like I already talked about, you know, the beginning of it where Sonya was crying with her sister. Um, everybody gets there and it's so much to unpack in this alone. Um, so like I said, Sonya asked Kenya the last minute, like, hey, I was wondering, can you be my auctioneer? Because my auctioneer actually got COVID, so I need someone to take that place. I was wondering, could you take that place for her? And Kenya's like, oh, yeah, sure, you know, that'd be great. Yeah, I have no problem doing that. Of course. All right, you're the best, Kenya. I really no awesome. worries, I got you, I got you. I, however, this is the second event that Sonya has booked me for without going through my agent. When Kenya's in her confessional, she's like, look, this is the second time that she has booked me outside my agent. <laughs> Strike three, you're out, girl. No, stop doing that. Which, you know, I wouldn't mind that. If if they're trying to grow and be friendly, cool. Now, Sonya has been making steady making digs. Like when her friend was like, you should ask Kenya. She was like, Kenya, girl, I don't, we just keep, became friends two seconds ago. And just like, oh girl, just making these little subtle digs. I'm just like, girl, you already know how Kenya get down. I will tread lightly, right? I will tread lightly, Sonya. Because in Jamaica, you tried and you failed right okay so basically um the goal of the auction was to raise fifty thousand dollars um so that was basically the goal Sonya was like you know i think that's a great goal um to basically help displace women and their kids finding shelter places to stay food and all the basic necessities right so they get to the um the auction people are rolling in all the girls are getting there so i see marlo with a strong rich i don't know if a chef is a good match for marlo most of them don't make a lot of money independent rich um everybody's cordial you know candy comes in she has a number 69 um drew comes in like an hour and 15 minutes late kenya was late too and she, uh Senya calls Kenya like, girl, where you at? Like, when Kenya answered the phone, she's like, hey, girl. She's like, girl, where you at? <laughs> no hey, no nothing. Just uh, straight, where you at? She was like, oh, my God, why are you still getting your hair done? She was like, first of all, it was a, I guess it was a misunderstanding with her, um, one of her plus ones. She wanted her plus one to sit with her or be closer to plus one, not be, like, in two different areas, which I definitely understand that. If I went with my plus one, I wouldn't want to be separate from my plus one because i invited them and i and obviously my plus one probably wouldn't know anyone there so for them just to sit there awkwardly without me would be weird right so it's time for the auction kenya finally gets there she's in her red um this ruffle dress um she had to get resized because she said the hips was just hipping right Marlo's over here throwing shade. She was like, yeah, you know, the witch without the shoe. To me, I don't see it. Um, if anything, Marlo could have read the Kenya for her hair. He still look good, so I don't really see where Marlo was coming from. So it was what it was. Um, <laughs> we start getting to the auction, and Kenya's like, okay, how are y'all doing, y'all? Uh -huh. What's up, y'all? So we're, we're at the auction. Yep. She's like, we were going, our goal is $50,000. You know what? We got $50,000 at this table alone. She was like, we're gonna raise it to a hundred thousand. Yeah. 
So she saw it, she said fifty thousand at this table talking to like the cast table and you see Drew and Sheree shaking in their boots. <laughs> Drew's over here trying to do the month and trying to do the, the um, <coughs> trying to count like 35,000 divided by seven, um, 5,000, um, take away the three, uh, square root. Ken, you got 7,000? Ken is like, do you got 7,000? <laughs> I know that's right because we already know Drew. I'm not gonna count her money because, regardless of the fact, all these women have money. They're on the show, they get these contracts, they're not broke. But, I mean, eh, this is the lifestyle that, this is the premise of the show. Y'all having money, y'all living this life, this grandos. And I mean, giving money to, it's a tax write-off. Giving to charity is a tax write-off, so hey. Mike and I partnered with the Ansley School, the only school of its kind in Atlanta. They provide a private school education to homeless children. But you know, uh, Marla's like, girl, I give money all the time, it's not a problem. So everybody's throwing up their paddles, throwing up their paddles. Some behind the scene tea is, Sonya said that she had to chase down Drew just to give us some money. And writing them checks. Wait, who was it that didn't uh, send you the money? Someone oh didn't God. send the money and then you have Drew. to call them out. Oh, and the only reason she paid because, because she, she knew, knew it was going to come. Drew, Drew's over here just like, yeah, you know, once I did my research, yeah, you know, I wanted to get the money. Yes, I was fine with that. But Sonya was like, yeah, girl, I had to chase her down just to get this money. Like, what's going on? Like, do you have it or do you not? And then she, <laughs> Kenya basically brings up the fact that Sheree, when they talk about, do you want to give some money to one of these places? Sheree's over here talking about, oh, give all these excuses. So I got a dog, I got a grandbaby, I got this, I got that. What you need to do. And it took a second before Sheree actually agreed. Like she was just like, well, I'm a new glam mom. I'm a this, I'm a that. Like they took all that out. <laughs> Well, she wasn't like quick to throw that card up. Like, we can't say like, come on now, Sheree. We know you got that money. You know what? Sheree's right. She don't need to do all that. What she need to do is pay these liens, pay all this other <laughs> Sheree, she don't pay. Now, come on now, because they know I got time. Sheree, you over here, like Kenya, like said, like Kenya said, you over here drop down in Balenciaga. You drop, you drop down in Bonamine. You can pay. <laughs> they raise over what was it? They raised over $75,000. Shout out to them and Mommy Nation. I feel like that is a great cause and they really helped out the Atlanta community. So shout out to them. Um, but y'all, I'm excited to see how the rest of this season is going to go. Um, they're going to Portugal. Um, you know, they have never been to Spain. To Portugal. Oh, wow. Ah! I've never, I've actually never been to Spain before. Kenya girl, sound like Portia. <laughs> but you know, y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.